Dear viewer, this clip provides you with valuable information about the following points. 1. Derivation. 2. Agrapas Pantheon. 3. Advantages Athenthen Finthenthen Faith, for Externaldom. 5. Interior Ophtheran 6. Dome. 7. Selection of building materials. 8. Redirection of force. 9. Characteristics of architecture. 10. People bury it in the Pantheon in Rome. 11. Popular myths and curiosities. Pantheon. This article is about the Pantheon Roman monumental building. For the Cemetery of the French Greats in Paris, see Cemetery of the Greats Paris. Pantheon Greek, Latin, Pantheon, meaning the Temple of All Gods was founded in 27 BC. By Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa, son-in-law of Augustus, it was rebuilt by Emperor Hadrian between 120 and 124 AD, after fires in 80 and 110 AD, which damaged the building that preceded the era of Augustus. It consists of a circular structure connected by a portico in Corinthian columns 8 in the front, and two groups of four in the second and third row that support a base. The large circular cell, called the rotunda, is surrounded by thick stone walls, and eight large columns on which the weight of the distinctive hemispherical concrete dome is distributed which includes at its top a circular opening called an oculus, which allows illumination of the interior environment. The height of the building is equal to the diameter of the rotunda, a feature that reflects classical standards of balanced and harmonious architecture. Nearly 2,000 years after its construction, the Dome of the Pantheon Tritus remains one of the largest domes in the world, specifically the largest domes built of Roman concrete. The Pantheon supports the largest dome of antiquity, with a diameter of 150 Roman feet, or 43.3 meters, within 1.2 or 43.44 cubic meters, which remains the largest in the world in unreinforced cement concrete. After nearly two millennia, this construction shows no sign of structural weakness. Despite voluntary deformation and repeated telluric movements, at the beginning of the 7th century, the Pantheon was converted into a Christian church. Called Santa Maria della Rotonda or Santa Maria ad Martiris, which allowed it to survive almost all of the plundering of the buildings of classical Rome by the popes. It has the status of a small basilica and is the only cathedral in Rome besides the Patriarchate that still has a chapter. The inhabitants of Rome called it Rotona Rotonda, from which the name of the square and the street in front of it is derived. State ownership of the Italian state, since December 2014, managed by the Ministry of Cultural Heritage and Activities, through the Lazio Museum Complex, and since December 2019, by the Department of State Museums in Rome. In 2019, it recorded 8,955,569 visitors, making it the most visited site of the Italian State Museum. Derivation. The word pantheon is actually a Greek loan retained by the Italian language through Latin, in Greek. It is a noun adjective denoting the collection of gods and, in most cases, connoting the noun temple. Therefore, from the Greek, the temple of all the gods comes the Latin name pantheon, used by Pliny the Elder, who gave the word to the Italian language. Cassius Dio, a Roman senator who wrote in Greek, hypothesized that the name derived either from the numerous statues of gods placed along the walls of the building or from the resemblance of the dome to a heavenly vault. Uncertainty suggests that the name Pantheon or Pantheum was merely a nickname rather than the official name of the building. In fact, the concept that there could be a temple dedicated to all the gods is a debated idea. The only pantheon actually recorded in sources before that of Agrippa was found. At Antioch in Syria, although it is only mentioned in a 6th century ad source, Ziegler attempted to collect evidence for the existence of Panthea, but his list consists only of simple dedications, such as, to all the gods, or, to the twelve gods, which are not necessarily citations of the actual temples in which all the gods were worshipped. Pantheon. This inscription Magrapalf Kastevictim can be read on the frieze at the entrance to the portico, 
The construction of this building is attributed to Marco Pipsanio Agrippa, a friend, leader, and son-in-law of Emperor Augustus. The third consulate of Agrippa dates back to 27 BC. In addition, Cassio's Dion is located among the works of Agrippa in the area of Rome known as the Piazza Marta. In 25 Ad, for centuries it was believed that this inscription referred to the current building. But after investigations by Ikidani in the 19th century, it was learned that in fact the temple of Agrippa had been destroyed and that what currently exists is a reconstruction carried out during the reign of Adriana. The latest discoveries in the 19th century allowed us that the original temple bore similarities to the current temple. The current portico was originally the facade of a temple surrounded by columns. The first temple was rectangular, with courtyards arranged transversely, as in the Temple of Concord in the Roman Forum or the small temple of P.O.P. on the Campidoglio Hill. It was built from blocks of limestone and lined with marble. It is also known that the hooks were made of bronze and the front decoration was made of statues and columns in the shape of a woman. Inside the portico, we find pads of statues of Augustus and Agrippa. By Dion Cassio, we learn that the Pantheon was not the real name of the building and that Agrippa was intended to create a dynastic cult, perhaps dedicated to the protection of the sons of Julian Ars. Venus, and the deified Julius Caesar. The building suffered many damages due to fire in the year 80, which was repaired by Domitiano, but was subjected to new destruction during the reign of Traiano. In the year 110, Agrippa's Pantheon. The first Pantheon was built in 27-25 BC by Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa, a friend and son-in-law of Augustus. In the context of designing the Campo Marzio area and entrusting its construction to Lucio Cocchio Octo, in fact, it was located between the Julia fences and the Basilica of Neptune, built at the expense of Agrippa himself on an area he owned, where the baths of Agrippa, the Basilica of Neptune, and the Pantheon itself were aligned from south to north. The building's original dedication inscription, shown in later Hadrian era reconstructions, states, Am Agrippa L.F. Cos Tertifesit, namely, Marcus Agrippa, Lucius Filius, Consul Tertium Facet Lagum, Marco Agrippa, son of Lucio, Consul for the third time, built at Sil, Vi, 896. Agrippa's third consul dates back to 27 BC. But Cassius Dio lists it, along with the Basilica of Neptune and the Laconian Gymnasium, among the works of Agrippa completed in 25 BC. From remains found 2.5 meters below the building at the end of the 19th century, it is known that this first temple had a rectangular plan 43, 76x 19.82 meters, with a transverse portico. Wider than it is tall like the Temple of Concordia in the Forum Romanesque, and the small Temple of Viofi on the Capitoline Hill, built of limestone blocks covered with marble slabs. The building faced south, in the opposite direction to Hadrian's reconstruction, preceded by a portico on the long side that was 21.26 meters wide. In front of it was an open circular area, kind of format that separated the temple from the Basilica of Neptune, walled in latticework and floored in limestone slabs. On top of these panels, other marble slabs were then placed, probably during the restoration of Domitian. However, Grippa's building had the central axis aligned with the newer building, and the width of the cell was equal to the inner diameter of the rotunda. The entire depth of the Augustan building is also aligned with that of Hadrianus Brunus. The only source describing Agrippa's pantheon decorations is Pliny the Elder, who saw him in person. In his book Historia Naturalis Natural History, he states, in fact, that the capitals were made of Syracusan bronze. The decoration included caryatid statues and curved statues. The carwai placed on the temple columns were sculpted by Diogenes of Athens. The temple overlooked a square now occupied by the Hadrianic Rotunda bounded on the other side of the Basilica of Neptune. Cassio Dion Cociano states that the Pantheon had this name, perhaps because it contained statues of many gods.
or perhaps because the dome of the building was reminiscent of the heavenly vault, and thus the gods of the seven planets, and that Agrippa's intention was to create a place of dynastic worship, dedicated to the protector gods, genius Julia. Its advantages. The construction of a large circular room adjacent to the portico in a classical temple is an innovation in Roman architecture. The circular space model with the covered vault was being used. At about the same time, in large thermal chambers, but this was a new use in the temple. Building the dome on a circular cylinder was considered a model for architecture at that time. The interior space of the building consisted of a cylinder covered by a hemisphere. The height of the cylinder is equal to half the diameter of the sphere, and their total height cylinder and hemisphere dome is equal to the diameter, so that it can engage the full sphere in the interior space. The diameter of the dome is 43.44 meters 150f, making it the largest concrete dome by mass in history. The Dome of Ste. T. Peter's Basilica was built slightly smaller. Building the dome on a circular cylinder was considered a model for architecture at that time. The interior space of the building consisted of a cylinder covered by a hemisphere. The height of the cylinder is equal to half the diameter of the sphere, and their total height cylinder and hemisphere dome is equal to the diameter, so that it can engage the full sphere in the interior space. The diameter of the dome is 43.44 meters 150f, making it the largest concrete dome by mass in history. The Dome of Ste. T. Peter's Basilica was built slightly smaller. Coming from Greece, the last column on the eastern side of the portico, missing since the 15th century, was replaced by a column of gray granite, under Pope Alexander VII and the column at the eastern end of the fod was replaced under Pope Urban VIII by a column of red granite. The alternation was therefore changed. Original colors and columns over time. The two new columns came from the Neronian baths. The triangular upper portion of the fod, which was not calibrated to Greek canonical proportion, has been rendered smooth by the loss of the bronze decoration, the holes of the buttresses, supporting which can still be seen. From the location of the remaining holes, it is thought that the decoration may have represented an eagle with a crown. The double-pitched roof is supported by timber trusses supported by brick walls with brackets resting on the interior rows of columns. The bronze roof of the wooden truss of the portico was removed in 1625 or in 1632. During the reign of Pope Urban VIII, for the construction of the 80 canons of Castel Sant'Angelo and the Remaining part was left for the construction of the canopy of Stiti. Peter's Basilica, designed by Gian Lorenzo Bernini, this is why we find the famous term in Pasquinade's poem. Barbarians who are not barbarians unless the barbarians do it. Barberini, family name of Pope Urban VIII. Written, the hallway area is paved with colored marble slabs arranged according to a geometric pattern of circles and squares. The sides of the portico are also covered in marble. External Dome The exterior of the rotunda hides the dome for a third. Constructing A cylindrical body that is nothing more than a vertical extension of the cylinder. A large cavity is thus enclosed between the dome and the outer wall, in which a double system of windowed rooms is created. Organized on an annular corridor, which also has the function of lightening the weight of the dome. The exterior of the rotunda, except for the dome, was not visible in antiquity, as it was hidden by other adjacent buildings. For this reason, it has no particular decorations, except for three-stepped cornices at different heights. In accordance with the inner surface of the first interior arrangement, along the line of the dome, and on the upper part of the hall, each of these three bands is also compatible with the different materials used in the building and is progressively lighter. In more detail, from bottom to top, the following wasist, first range. Layers of concrete alternating with granular aggregate of travertine and tufa. Second range, layers of concrete alternating granular aggregate of tufa and terracotta. Third range, layers of concrete with granular aggregate of pumice biomes only. Interior of the Rotunda
I desired this sanctuary of all the gods to represent the globe and the celestial sphere, the globe containing the seeds of eternal fire, all contained in the hollow sphere Margaret Yorson Memoirs of Hadrian. The inner space of the rotunda consists of a cylinder covered by a hemisphere. The height of the cylinder is half the diameter 21, 72 m, and the total height of the inside equals the diameter 43, 44 m, 43.3 meters. On the lower level, there are six large niches with two columns in front, rectangular actually trapezoidal and semicircular, in addition to the doorway and the mirab. This first level is framed in architectural order with columns corresponding to the opening of niches and columns in the intermediate sections of the wall, which support the continuous roof. Only the apse opposite the entrance is flanked by two columns protruding from the wall. The entablature of the rotunda continues with windows or niches, and a mirab crowned with a semi-dome. Between the columns and the niches, in the solid part, there are eight small columns. On a high base called ediculi, with alternating triangular and converging arches. The walls are covered with colorful marble panels. The technique of marble inlay opsectionale was used on the upper part, and it had an arrangement of porphyry columns framing the windows and faced with colored marble panels. Windows look out from the first inner ring. The original Romanesque decoration of this part was replaced by the architect Paolo Bossi in 1747 on the recommendation of Pope Benedict XIV. In the southwestern sector, part of the original Roman appearance of this level was restored in the 1930s, but not with complete accuracy. The floor of the rotunda is not the original floor, as it was rebuilt in 1873, but it has the same effect as that of the Hadrian period, being slightly convex towards the sides shifted about 2 meters northwest from the center, and making a slope of about 30 centimeters with the part the top. While it is concave in the center to ensure that the rain that falls inside the temple through the skylight at the top of the dome, flows into 22 drainage holes located in the center of the rotunda. There are some myths that rain does not enter the skylight due to the draft system, but these are clearly false. The floor covering is boards with a checkered pattern consisting of patterns of alternating small circles or squares. The materials used are antique porphyry, granite, and pavonazo marble. Dome. He dome, with a diameter of 43.44 meters 43, 30 m, according to Sinti et al. and Corelli and weighing more than 5,000 tons, is the original model for domes. Built in the following centuries in Europe and the Mediterranean region, whether in Christian churches or in Islamic mosques. As for the diameter today, if we do not consider the roof of the CNIT Center of Modern Industries and Technologies. In Paris, as a dome in fact it is a cross vault, the Dome of the Pantheon, is still the largest dome to the world, surpassing both the Dome of Stiti. Peter's Basilica diameter 42.52 m, Brunelleschi's dome in Florence smaller diameter 41.47 meters, and Hagia Sophia's dome in Constantinople larger diameter 31.24 meters. Among the concrete domes, the diameter of the Pantheon remains unsurpassed. Inside it are five levels or layers of 28 cupboards or squares coffers. The number 28 was the number that the ancients considered perfect, as it was obtained from the sum 1 plus plus, 2 plus plus, 3 plus plus, 4 plus plus, 5 plus plus, 6 plus plus 7, and that 7 is the number that indicates perfection, because 7 planets are visible to the naked eye. Rings of decreasing size progress upward, and are Absent in the broad, smooth band near the peak of the niche, which is 9 meters in diameter. Surrounding the dome, there is a frame of bronze tiles set on the dome, which may have continued internally to the top row of caissons. Roman tradition says that the rain does not penetrate the pantheon due to the so-called chimney effect. In fact, it is a myth related to the past, when countless candles lit in the church produced a stream of hot air that rose upwards, and which 
met the rain and hid it. Thus, the perception of water entering was eliminated. This realization is made possible thanks to a series of means that contribute to the construction. From the use of gradation to the use of increasingly lighter materials. In the layer closest to the cylinder, the mixture consists of layers of concrete with brick grains. Composed of concrete with tufa aggregate, while in the upper part, near the porthole, there is concrete mixed with volcanic ash. The dome was built in a single mold on a massive wooden rib. Externally, the dome is concealed below by the height of the rotunda, and is thus divided into seven superimposed rings, the lower part of which still retains the marble cladding. The rest was covered with gilded bronze tiles, removed by the Byzantine Emperor Constant II in 655, except for those around the niche, which are still in situ. In the 8th century, Pope Gregory III restored the roof with lead panels. Then Pope Nicholas V and Gregory X V carried out roof restoration work. The building thickness gradually decreases upward from 5.9 meters below to 1.5 meters. In accordance with the part surrounding the central station, selection of building materials, the extensive use of concrete opus conminium poured between the brick facades opus latericum makes the building a cohesive mass that ensures its solidity and good resistance to deformation forces. Depending on the height of the building, the concrete used includes different granular aggregates suitable for strength or lightness needs. Starting from the bottom, there are five different types of concrete. The wall of the rotunda, up to the first outer frame, is composed of concrete in which grains of tufa and limestone travertine are exposed. Between the first and second frame, the concrete consists of granular tufa aggregate. The wall above the second cornice and the first ring of the dome are built of concrete with granular aggregate combined with crushed brick, while the second ring of the dome is built of concrete containing granular aggregate with crushed brick and tufa. The dome cover was made with great care, built of concrete containing granular pumice and tufa, gradually decreasing in thickness from 5.9 meters at the base to just 1.5 meters at eye level, and then covered with a 15 centimeters thick layer of sealant paint. Roman concrete mortar is a mixture of sand and lime. Over time, it tends to calcify more and more, ensuring an excellent seal. Over the centuries, redirection of force. The bifurcated static thrust technique was used to construct the dome. The base of the dome 4 in the figure on the side tends to push outward, the wall supporting it. This cylinder is not full, but hollowed out by 7 holes 3 in the figure on the side. The weight of the dome is thus supported by the 8 massive building columns that separate these empty spaces. Therefore, it was necessary to balance the lateral centrifugal thrusts and convert them to vertical thrusts on the 8 columns. To achieve these results, Manufacturers have adopted multiple solutions, including the outer wall one in profile extends beyond the foot of the dome by 8.4 meters 5 in profile to side and serves as a support. At the base of the dome is a series of seven concrete rings arranged in step 6 in the figure on the side, visible from the outside, which convert lateral centrifugal thrusts into vertical thrusts. The thickness of the rotunda includes large two-footed discharge arches square bricks, with two feet on each side, which direct the thrust to the rotunda. Other brick arches included in the wall of the rotunda, but visible from the outside. After the plaster has disappeared, redirect the thrust towards the columns. The bearing part of the cylindrical wall is reinforced with a series of small radial braces between the upper levels of the inner wall and the outer wall. Characteristics of architecture. The construction of the Pantheon was an engineering masterpiece, in which the architectural idea was perfectly interpreted by an experimental technical approach subsidences and cracks. That occurred immediately after construction were immediately addressed. The ideal spherical spatiality gives the viewer a feeling of extraordinary harmony, motionless and still. Thanks to the balanced relationships between the different organs, with the articulated effects of light and shadow in the cabinets, 
niches, and halls. The insertion of a large rotunda behind a classical temple building was unprecedented in the ancient world, at least based on the architecture that has come down to us or that we know from literary sources. There may have been a precedent in Rome for a circular building with a portico, dating from the late Republican era, albeit on a very modest scale, Temple B. Largo di Tor, Argentina. The combination of a classical model column portico and a building with a typically neo-Roman space rotunda was a kind of compromise between the spatiality of Greek architecture paying attention mainly to the exterior of buildings and that of Roman architecture centered on interior spaces. This attracted various criticisms but was a clear tribute to the prevailing classicism of Rome's culture which persisted in the following centuries. The model of a circular space covered by a hemispherical dome ending at the top with a circular opening was already applied in a type of thermal chambers called laconic, as in the great imperial thermal chambers of Baia and Rome the So. Called Temple of Mercury, it was a circular chamber with a diameter of 21.55 meters, built between the 1st century BC and the 1st century AD, covered by a hemispherical vault first made of concrete and used as a pool for therapeutic diving, or in circular form, as was the main hall of the central form of the Domus Aurea. However, the use of this type of roof for a Templar building was novel. The sudden effect of crossing the main door must have been noticeable, and appears to have been a feature of the architecture of Hadrian's period, also found in many parts of his villa at Tivoli. Another innovation was the introduction of smooth monolithic columns of colored marble. For the temple columns, instead of the traditional fluted columns of white marble, Pantheon as a model, the most beautiful remains of Roman antiquity is undoubtedly the Pantheon. This temple has suffered so little that it appears to us as the Romans saw it in their time Stendhal, Roman walks, as the best preserved example of monumental Roman architecture. The Pantheon had an enormous influence on European and American architects, one example above all. Andrea Palladio with his villa, the famous La Rotonda in Vicenza, from the Renaissance to the 19th century, with neoclassicism. Many churches, civic halls, universities and libraries echo its structure with the portico and a dome. There are many famous buildings influenced by the Pantheon. In Italy, the famous Pantheon of the Monumental Cemetery Staglino in Genoa. The facade of the Titro Massimo in Palermo, the Church of San Carlo al Corso in Milan, the Church of San Francesco di Paola in Naples, the Church of San Simeon Piccolo in Venice, and a cistern in Livorno, the Canovian Temple of Bosagno, the Church of the Grand Madre di Dio, and the Mausoleum of Bella Rossini in Turin. Abroad, the Temple of Soufflo in Paris, and in Anglo-Saxon countries, the Rotunda of the British Museum, the Villa Monticello, and the Rotunda of the University of Virginia. Commissioned by Thomas Jefferson through a Palladian reinterpretation of the Pantheon, the Law Memorial Library at Columbia University in New York, and the Jefferson Memorial in Washington, D. C. However, the basic structure in the broad sense, a central plan building with a dome with the addition of a fod, inspired by a Greek temple overlooking a square specially constructed for the building. Starting from Renaissance architecture, has been found in countless buildings, first and foremost St. Peter's Cathedral, people buried in the Pantheon in Rome. The following people are buried within the Pantheon, Jacopo Barazzi of Vignola. Annabelle Caracci in the third shrine, to the right of the tomb of Raffaello Sanzio. Arcangelo Corelli, opposite the altar on the right. John of Udine. Queen Margarita of Savoy Second Church. Perrin del Vaga near the altar. Baldassari Peruzzi. Raffaello Sanzio Third Shrine. Marie Antoinette of Papina in the third shrine, remembered by a plaque to the right of Raffaello Sanzio's tomb. King Umberto I of Savoy Second Church, Flaminio Vacca near the altar, King Vittorio Emanuele II of Savoy Sixth Church, Tadao Zaccari near the altar, 
Ercole Consalvi is a cardinal, his heart buried under the bust that depicts him. Popular myths and curiosities. A medieval legend is associated with the moat that runs around the temple. The famous magician Pietro Bellardo appears to have secured possession of the Book of Command, which the devil had handed to him upon transferring his soul. Otherwise, he repented and used his magical arts. To make a pilgrimage to Jerusalem, Santiago de Compostela, and finally to the Pantheon in one day. Here he met Satan, who asked for his soul, as agreed upon. But Bellardo gave the devil a handful of walnuts, and he quickly took refuge in the church and began to pray sincerely. So he was saved. The angry demon circled several times around the temple and, venting his anger, dug the moat that is still visible today. Each building stone of the Pantheon weighs up to 90 tons. These are marble slabs that came from Egypt more than 2,000 years ago to build the new Roman temple. The building was architecturally designed to have a single porthole-shaped window on the dome that is approximately 9 meters in diameter. From a lighting point of view, this opening towards the outside allows light to fall from above and thus creates a subtle play of light inside. Over the centuries, many legends, astronomical studies, and curiosities have arisen around the vicinity of the Pantheon. It is said that in ancient times, Rain was not able to enter the building due to the heat and fumes of the candles that lit the interior. This cannot be proven by reliable sources and therefore remains a myth. In the Pantheon, on rainy days to this day, copious amounts of water enter, which is why the floor was designed with 22 holes to allow rain to filter out. Thanks to the presence of the skylight, astronomical phenomena can be observed inside the architectural building to the point that it has been identified by some as a solar temple. In fact, on April 21st, Christmas in Rome, a beam of sunlight appeared to penetrate the skylight inside and strike the entry gate. According to a medieval legend, the niche of the Pantheon was created by Satan fleeing from the Temple of God. Another legend says that before the niche was actually a hole, intended for the insertion of a large bronze pine cone, currently in the Vatican, Annihilation is a homonymous word. With an internal diameter of 44.3 meters, the Dome of the Pantheon remains the largest hemispherical dome ever built of unreinforced concrete. It was a reconstruction work carried out in 128 AD. The building was subject to the government of Emperor Hadrian, 